Welcome to Introduction to SAP. This session is intended to give you brief understanding of SAP and the modules involved in SAP as most of us know. SAP is almost every module to address each of the functional areas in any business scenarios and has evolved as the most preferred enterprise resource planning solution across the globe. SAP claims itself as the market leader in this segment with about 23% of the total market share, again with some of their modules achieving as high as 63.7% of its market share. Before we get into the details, let us understand what ERP, Enterprise Resource Planning, is all about. In mid-twenties it was IBM helping enterprises with mainframes to manage their data pertaining to operations. However, there was a need of much efficient system which could help integration among several departments within the organization. Like for example, a transaction in sales scenario must always be updated with finance department as well. Traditionally this used to happen through exchange of flat files pertaining to the data specific to be shared between departments. The requirement of having an application, which in the background integrates all the functional areas of an organization, again almost synchronous, made a group of people to design enterprise resource planning application. As all the data is maintained in the database, these applications in the background update all the relevant tables to keep all the modules updated, and on the same page. ERP is an application, which lets people of a particular functional area work on their respective modules, and the task of updating other modules particular to people of other functional areas, is taken care of by the system. SAP AG is a German software corporation that makes enterprise software, to manage business operations and customer relations. Headquartered in Waldorf, Baden-Württemberg, with regional offices around the world, SAP is the market leader in enterprise application software. The company's products are its enterprise resource planning application best known as SAP ERP, SAP Business Objects Software, and most recently, Sybase Mobile Products and in-memory computing appliance, SAP HANA. SAP was founded in June 1972 as System Analysis and Program Ment Wicklung, means System Analysis and Program Development, by five former IBM engineers, Dietmar Hopp, Klaus Chira, Hans Werner Hector, Hasso Plattner, and Klaus Wilhelm Reuther. Let us get into the details of what SAP is all about and how it is helping business community since few decades. And also understand the role of consultants in implementing and maintaining SAP servers. SAP Today has almost every module to address each of the functional areas like finance and control, sales and distribution, material management, production planning, plant maintenance, human resource planning, quality management, project management, and the list goes on. Industry Solutions popularly known as IS, has industry-specific modules like IS Oil, IS Retail, IS Utilities etc. Each of these modules have features specific to the business process. For instance, salespeople need system to support their tasks like inquiry, quotation, sales order, shipping, billing etc. Sales and distribution module and SAP provides such features for its end clients to manage their operations. Same way we have relevant features in each of those modules, specific to the areas of operation, designed from the market research by the subject matter experts. Architecture of SAP is called a three-tier for the reason that this functions in three layers. One of those being database layer where all the database is deployed on the servers. Next comes application layer which has application servers, and the other being presentation server which has user interface. We access the SAP systems through the user interface at application layer, and all the commands are interpreted by the application server. Further the database commands are passed on to database servers for execution. This way SAP systems generally are built on three-tier architecture. There are four different roles associated with implementation and maintenance of SAP application. They are, 1. Business Consultant, 2. Functional Consultant, 3. Technical Consultant and 4. End User. 
business consultant, generally gathers all the requirement from client and translates the same into a requirement specific doc. The role of a business consultant begins from gathering detailed requirement from the client till signing of statement of work. SAP product when purchased would be a generic application and the role of functional consultant starts with customizing SAP as per the client's process. Technical consultants would come into picture when additional features need to be delivered, or a customization is required at the code level using a BAP. Also technical consultants help developing custom interfaces required between SAP and other legacy or third-party systems. Once SAP system is customized completely to the client's requirement, end users are trained to use it further in their daily work life. End users are those at client's place who use these system for carrying out operations. Once approved at this stage the product is rolled out for the client to start using it. All further enhancements and changes to the existing system by functional or technical consultants are made and tested in the development server before moving it to the production system. We recommend you to go through the module specific videos in the portal for further detailed introduction to specific modules in SAP. 